Iron contamination is a problem we all experience with our cars. Not only is there iron contamination in well water, it's in city water too. So every time you wash your car, you introduce this contaminant and over time it builds upon the paint. There's also iron contamination in the air around us in the form of industrial fallout, normal air pollution, and in areas of high traffic, you get it from brake dust that comes off the brakes every time the people hit their brakes and it comes off the rotors and calipers, but also from rail dust. And all this ends up on your car, and the safest way to remove it is with an iron remover. Mike Phillips, AutoGeek.com. I've been detailing cars all my life, and one of my favorite products is iron removers like the Blackfire Iron Remover Gel. The benefit to the gel is because it's thick, it offers the ability to cling to vertical surfaces and it also offers better dwell time. So the product can go to work dissolving iron contamination so you can then wash it off. How this product works is you spray it onto your car and this means paint, plastic, glass, wheels, tires, everything. If it's on the outside of your car, it's probably been contaminated. And what it does is it seeks out iron contamination and it chemically dissolves it. Now you can see this taking place because it's going to turn a red or dark purplish color. And that's a sign it's working. It's also a sign your car was contaminated and now you're glad you use this product. It's easy to use too. First, wash your car, remove any loose dirt. Then spray the Blackfire Iron Remover Gel onto the car. Allow it to dwell for two to three minutes and then hose it off. It's that simple and that easy and that fast. And here's a pro tip. The way I use this, if the car is only lightly dirty, is before I wash it off, I go ahead and use the iron remover gel. Spray it on, let it go to work. That dirt film will kind of hold it onto the car where it can do its magic. To get your bottle of Blackfire iron remover gel, go to autogeek.com. For more videos like these and how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.